Yo, what is good guys? It is Grateful back here today with another video. Now, this might, I don't, I'm, not, I'm saying might, this might be one of the last build videos for a little while. I know I've been kind of making a lot of them. Like I said, this is the year of builds. I'm making um, two center builds today. I'm making a one for 5v5 and then one for 5v5 but everything else kind of. I'm making my center build that I that I use and then a 5v5 one that I know about. So first of all, you just wanna go center and then um, doesn't matter about the hand, doesn't matter about the jersey number. Now I'm going seven foot on this build right here. I'm going max wingspan or actually, I'm gonna go seven eight wingspan right here just so you can get that 82 three and then i'm bringing the strength down to a 90 so you have that 72 speed and then you can obviously gym rat it i thought my voice is kind of weird i think i'm getting sick or something i don't even know but um so for this build right here the way that I did my finishing is I did it to where I don't want elite contact dunks. Like I don't need them. So I just I max out my standard dunk more than my like than anything else. And then I just max out the three to 82 or 81. You only need it at 81. And I feel like as a popping center, you only need like 14, 15 shooting badges. You don't need much. And then for the playmaking, all I'm gonna put up is pass accuracy. Literally, that's it. I, like, I feel like you might want vice grip, so I'm gonna leave that right there. But like, vice grip is more meant for um, like locks and guards and stuff. So I don't even know. But this is where I'm gonna have everything right here. So now you're gonna want to put up a bunch of this stuff. So offensive rebound, I'm putting to 85 block i'm going to hold on let me bring this down real quick block i'm going to put it at 95 and then let me edit this build a little bit real quick so you're gonna want like with this build you can really have it two ways you can make it full slashing and it can kind of be like you know like a full slashing build with a bunch of defending or you can make it kind of shoot now personally my seven foot i don't think you need the 81 three actually and you can really just add the four to the to um the shooting if you want which is really nice so i would bring my interior defense to an 85 i think i have 29 defensive of my regular one so let me edit this build real quick so personally, I'm going to bring the, the finishing down a little bit. Bring it to about right here. So yeah, I mean, you can really do it either way. Now, I'm going to redo this build really quickly. Uh, kind of like just very, very quickly to where I just put the shooting down. So if you guys want shooting, pause the video right here and put and copy this build if you want shooting. If you don't want shooting and you want more defensive and you want more finishing then you know don't pause the video here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bring this down and obviously maybe have like 10 maybe keep it right here try and have 10. then i'm bringing this to a 90. yeah you're not gonna be able to have any shooting so i'm bringing i'm bringing all the shooting down i'm gonna keep the free throw up though because free throw like if you're playing fives you want free throw so I'm actually gonna put free throw up. But um so I'm gonna bring this up. 60 60. I'm gonna bring this up to a 90. 99 for that. 99 for that. And then you don't really need anything higher than a 90 for your interior defense. So what gives us more? This right here. So you only need a 90 standing dunk, I'm pretty sure. Like somebody fact checked that for me. But um I'm I'm 99% sure you only need a standing dunk as a as a 90 for those elite big man contact dunks. That's I'm pretty sure. Um if you can't get them, just bring everything down and just say fuck the free throw. Or no, you're actually gonna have to put up the free throw kind of. But um 
that you can break it to a 95 easy as that without any of the shot so i'm gonna try and get the 20 finishing no not that way okay so there we go 20 finishing then just put the rest towards free throw who cares about it you can't really get anything more in any category i think so i'm gonna try really quick my fault i'm taking a while i'm just trying to fully see the potential of this build real quick okay you can get 30 kind of max out um just everything in here bring this down try and see how far low i can go okay I don't, I don't feel like you need more than a high like you don't need a high perimeter defense because especially like in game you're not playing high like i can tell you from experience like using this build like you're not playing high with this build i never play high with this build at all so it's kind of like you know I, I don't need that i don't need that perimeter defense so i put this the vertical up to 84 i feel like that kind of matters and um it doesn't really matter what else you want to put this towards, honestly. You can put it towards whatever you want. Like, I'm just going to put it towards that. So, uh, yeah, let's get into the takeovers real quick. I always forget, but now I'm not. <laughs> I'm going paint intimidation and stuff blocks. Now I'm going double rim because, I don't know. Like, rebounding is cool, but the way that rim running is this year, like, double rim really helps a lot. Like, you guys saw in the lock video I posted on Friday um rim take really helps a lot a lot so i'm just going to show y'all real quick what the badges are on this build so first of all you're gonna you're gonna want to go post riser straight up limitless um and then you need to put on five more so fearless giant slayer and then you could you could play core bully or core masher and then just put on either one doesn't matter put on yeah i put on this um shooting nothing so for the playmaking i'm putting on floor general break starter and floor general again that's about it you're not going to be able to get anything else really like i don't know special delivery and for the defensive glove interceptor pretty obvious not putting on pick dodger put on challenger I am putting on Chase Down Artist on Bronze for right now. Box Out Beast on Hoff. Rebound Chaser Corda on Hoff. It's easy. And let me tell you, I've played, I'm going to say about like 15 total rep games on my 7 foot. Just like during the double rep shit. I already have my Rebound Chaser basically cored on gold. So it's like, it's easy. Um, brick Wall. You don't need a brick wall this year. Anchor, I'm putting on off. You don't like. You don't need brick wall this year. Just, just trust me on that. Um, and then you can. I don't know if pogo stick works, but I'm just gonna put it on for right now. You can obviously add four to this, and then maybe get brick wall if you really. If brick wall starts working, like that's why I, I like those like this because, um, you kind of have the flexibility. Like the the lock build I posted has the flexibility to have, um, bronze glove, right now because that's all you need but bronze glove might get patched in two weeks and then you need Hoff. So with this build, like, you know, you have, you can get brick wall on gold. So if brick wall really gets patched, you need brick wall in two weeks, boom, you have it right here. So let's get into the second build. Um, the second build is a strictly 5v5 build. So if you're not playing any 5v5, then you can click off the video right now. I'm not gonna waste all time. So let's get straight into this 5v5 build. Center, obviously. And it doesn't matter to him. I'm going 7-2 on this build. Max wingspan to 8 foot. By the way, on that last build I posted, you can max out the wingspan. By the way, I forgot to tell y'all that. So, um, y'all are going to want to go for a 95 strength on this build. Like, your, your speed is already not going to be high. Like, if you even put everything down, like, your speed's not going to be high. So, just go for a 95 strength because strength really matters. Um, I would go... Actually affect the vertical at all you might want that 75 vert Hold on. let me see something real quick so you can get silver bully with this and then you can get contact dunks 
so yeah we're gonna go with this so I'm going 90 stamina because you're center you're not going everywhere obviously max out just all the physicals I'm putting my defensive rebound to a 99 my offensive to a 90 my block all the way up just put a like kind of the same defensive stats for this build as the other build that I made this is going to a 70 and I don't want to put all this stuff up. So what you could do on this build is really like do it as a post scorer because you're not going to be able to get like those driving contact dunks in this on this build. Like you're just not. Yeah, I feel like if you do post like post moves and shit, it really um it really brings it up a lot more. Yeah, look how much it brings it up right there. Um, I'm pretty sure. No, that actually brought it down. What if I bring this down to a 90 and then put this up? Okay, so that, that brings up more. So I think you're only going to need a 65 pass accuracy. That's what I have on my, on my center on this build. And you still get vice grip on gold so it's like yeah you're good like that's all you need to put it on and um i'd bring this back up how did i lose oh that's how i lost <laughs> like how did i lose a playmaking badge or a finishing badge what but yeah that's how i lost it so um i'm just trying to see i'm just trying to see how much i can really go for this build so yeah 24 24, 6, 30. It's a pretty good build right here for um, fives. It's a pretty good build. So um, let's just get straight into the takeovers. Again, you can go whatever you want. On this build specifically, I'm going double rim because it's so effective. Rim take is the one thing right now that's stopping these guys from just running into the paint and going up. So let me take y'all into the badges real quick. This build was a lot easier to make. It's a lot easier to make center builds than lock builds and, and ISO builds because center builds are kind of the same as they were last year. There's not really any difference between center builds this year and last year. So for the badges, Limitless, Posterizer, I'm going back down. I'm going Drop Stepper. Um, I'm going Rise Up, I'm core in that, you want that. I want Bully on this build, and I want Masher on this build. Boom. Easy as that. You could take off some badges if they don't work. Blah, blah, blah. So for this, Vice Grip on Gold, Floor General. Easy. Glove, Interceptor, Challenger, Box Out, Chase Down, Post Lock, Core Rebounds, Go for Anchor, and then go for pogo stick on silver so yeah this is the best setup right here um i'll go back to the playmaking because i went past this super quickly for you guys so i would core that by the way core um vice grip and then do this because you will end up core vice grip because that's the main badge of free big center uses i'm obviously shooting there's nothing but you can core something if you want um and then here's finishing again so my fault for going past the badges really quickly but um, yeah, that's the 572 center build. I don't really know what else to call it. Yeah, but um, I'm gonna be coming at y'all with a Rage Taj soon. Just give me a couple more days on that. I just have to, it's a lot of editing for that and stuff. I have to go back through all of my clips and just look through all of my clips. So yeah, just kind of give me a little while on that. It'll probably be the shortest Rage Taj because like, the my team rage hasn't kicked in yet like if y'all don't know i'm i'm a i play this I, I don't just play park because especially this year like you can't just play park and just be found it i i play my team too and that's where the real rage comes out i'm just gonna let y'all know but um yeah it's been grateful and i'm out peace